Hello everybody, welcome to another True Review. This is Whispering Willows on the Xbox One. The best way I can describe Whispering Willows is it's a 2D side-scrolling horror adventure game. A bit like the old adventure games that you could find in the old Amigas and the Atari STs, like the Monkey Island games such as that. But while they were point and click in Whispering Willows, you do have direct control over your character. The game opens up with a beautifully drawn cutscene which introduces you to the main character, Elena who is having a dream about her father being in trouble, so she gets dressed and dashes off to the Willow's mansion. No sooner has she entered the mansion's ground than an amulet that belongs to her father begins to glow and a spectral figure manifests in front of her, scaring her to the ground. The ground opens up and she's thrust into a dark, cavernous crypt and that's where the game begins. No sooner has Elena gathered herself to her feet, she's quickly introduced to the game's guide in the initial chapter, a fallen shaman who's diving from the ground who just simply wants to find his body so he can rest in peace. He quickly introduces Elena to the main gameplay mechanic, which is the amulet, which allows her to project her spectral form. This allows her to reach areas she normally wouldn't be able to reach and also allows her to manipulate minor objects such as pulling of levers, moving of chests of drawers or even levitating objects through small spaces so she can actually gain possession in her corporeal form. The amulet also lets her see and interact with the many many ghosts that she'll find on the mansion's grounds and it's these ghosts that help drive the story forward. They give you missions to complete or to request an object that they need and they also had a little bit of backstory to why they were there and what befell them. The backstory is also fleshed out by numerous collectibles in the game which don't really affect the gameplay at all but they do flesh out the narrative and do build up the backstory of the overall Whispering Willows. Now one of the game's strong points is its tone and its atmosphere and you can tell Nightlight Interactive who've developed this game have spent a lot of time getting this exactly how they wanted it and they've done a banging job of it. The graphics are beautifully cell shaded, the locations vary from a crypt to the moonlit gardens to a guest house to the actual mansion itself and they're all well drawn, well defined, you can tell what everything is straight away and it's just really immaculate presentation throughout the game itself. This is mainly evident in the actual character themselves, whether it's Elena, her father, or any of the spectral cast which you meet during her journey. They're all beautifully well drawn and gruesome at the same time. The excellent presentation continues into the game's music. There's a haunting theme that plays throughout the chapters of the game. It's really, really chilling at times and suits the game really, really well. The use of sound enhances the environments as well, whether it's the rumbling of the ground while you're underground in the crypt to the wind sweeping through the grounds of the mansion when you're outside. Even the simple thing of opening a door is done really well. The music and sound effects are used to great effect as well at moments of high tension in the game when you're being chased by a monster or there's some kind of dramatic event appearing on screen. Now despite its immaculate presentation, the game isn't without its faults. The main issue I have with the game is its runtime. It is incredibly short and it is also a linear game as well. Once you have played through the game you will know exactly what you have to do and there is simply no variation between playthroughs. So there's not going to be an awful lot to make you come back to this game. Another issue I had with the game as well was the game's challenge. Now difficulty is always a subjective matter and obviously it varies from individual to individual. Now I didn't find a problem with the puzzles at all, the puzzles were very simplistic and never actually got stuck at any point in the game whatsoever. Now whilst it is also possible to die in the game at certain points, there's no real penalty for that because the game saves at the transition of every location. So if you do die by one of the handful of locations where it is possible, you don't lose any progress as such, you just basically try again. Now, a game that's very linear and doesn't pose much of a challenge, it does actually hold your attention for the entirety of its runtime, and I did really, really enjoy this game. I was actually disappointed that it did end when it did. I was actually a little bit taken aback that it was so short. So that's really the thing we've got to get over on this game. Now, the Danish reviews publishes the day that the game should be coming out, which is the 28th of August, and it was delayed until then, so they could actually incorporate it as part of Microsoft's summer of... 
games program that they're doing at the moment and it's going to have a 30 percent discount for two weeks on launch now i've only got the us price here and it's going to be priced at six dollars 99 in the us so uk wise i reckon that's going to be about 7.99 because we normally pay a little bit more don't we dollars wise maybe even less to be honest with you it's going to be one of the cheaper idea xbox titles and that's a good thing really because the developer is being sensible with the pricing i think even without the 30 percent discount it will reflect good value for money because like i say the, the game is enjoyable the game is well worth playing so I have to give Nightlight Interactive thumbs up here for pricing the game sensibly because there is a few idea Xbox games out there which have a two hour runtime and are ridiculously priced at something like £15 plus. So well done Nightlight Interactive for pricing your product sensibly. So overall I'm going to give this an excellent 8 out of 10. I'm going to overlook the short runtime of it because like I say it is sensibly priced and what you do get is a high quality product for your money. The graphics, the sound, the story, especially if you read the backstory notes uh, in the diary section of the game as well. It's an absolutely amazing read and a well written story, a well constructed story. And like I say, the game does hold your attention for its short run time. It actually leaves you wanting more. I was actually a bit sad and disappointed when it did actually end, to be honest with you, because I was expecting it to be a bit longer. But needless to say, excellent game and definitely, definitely worth the purchase. So I hope you enjoyed that review guys, thanks everybody for watching once again, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and to follow me on my various social media pages which are linked in the description underneath this video. It does really help you to do that for me because it does help me get these games to you as quickly as possible on release or even before release. So thank you very much and thank you for your continued support.